Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square and to episode 15. Can you believe it's 15 already? Episode 15 of our show and tell series where it's all about you. Okay, so before we get started looking at all the awesome projects from our community, I just want to let you know what's happening on the channel this week. First, the next part of the Fall Fireside Afghan Crochet Along will be coming out. I hope you like it. I'm very excited about it. Next, I did a little bit of shopping and I got some of this Go For Faux yarn. Oh, it is so soft. I'll be putting up a nice, quick and easy fall project with this. I'll also be doing a flash review of the pony crochet hooks. I've been using them and I'll let you know what I think of them. And as we get closer to the 3000 subscriber mark, I'm so excited about it. I'm going to be revealing the 3000 subscriber giveaway. Okay, so without further ado, let's get to your projects. Our first submission comes from Samantha Jefferson, one of our regulars. Check it out. She says, just finished this half stitch blanket Love it so much. Hope you like it. I do. That looks beautiful. I love the colors of that. I'm starting a Facebook page in the next few days. It will be done. Can't wait. All right. Well, let us know what your Facebook page is, and I will be happy to share it with others if you would like other people to join your page. Thank you so much for sending that in, Samantha. Our next submissions come from Lisa Mayen, and she's been getting ready for a craft fair for a little bit of time now, and it seems like she's really ready. Take a look. She said, so far this week, I have had to frog two items and lost three days of work. Crocheting at 2 a.m. isn't smart, LOL. I did a complete batch of yip yips for my sale and the sign for my booth. I painted it on a piece of plexiglass and did a bejeweled border. Her second email said, all set up at the craft fair that I am going to be at every weekend now until the weekend of December 18th. I finished the shawl I made using Lion Brand Landscape. I had to run out to Michael's for one more skein, and after digging through all the landscape yarn, I found the one and only last skein of the color I needed. <laughs> Thank goodness. Phew! Hope you're having a fun weekend. Well, we hope you are too, Lisa, and we wish you a lot of success at the craft fairs. You'll have to let us know how you do. Thank you so much for sending those pictures in. Our next submissions come from Simone Maffey. Take a look. She said, I bought this super soft acrylic yarn from Ice Yarns quite a few years ago, and it was perfect for this corner to corner cot size blanket I made for a girlfriend's new baby grandson. I use the bobble border often. It's a tutorial on YouTube, and she tells us later that it's by Daisy Farms, but we'll get to that in her next email. Next, she says, Hi, Francine and all your talented subbies. I make these fingerless gloves a lot. These are the last three pairs I have in my gift stash. I think they make for a lovely present. Well, I hope they do, because just about all of my friends have been gifted a pair over the last couple of years. They are gorgeous. I would love a pair. <laughs> I use the YouTube tutorial by staying creative. The fingerless gloves are Lion Brand Landscape. Oh, and the bobble blanket border from my previous email is a tutorial by Daisy Farm Crafts called the Crochet Blanket Dot Border. I do hope everyone is having a happy yarny week. And then she says, and my final show off is a super long, just feel festive shawl that I gifted to my daughter's mom-in-law. I used Ice Yarns Cakes Glitz. Three cakes of it, so plenty of shawl to wrap oneself up in on a chilly day. I'm sure I am not the only one awaiting the return of these cakes on the ice yarn site. I'm kicking myself for not stocking up more on this particular yarn. Hopefully it will be back in stock soon. I've added a picture below of the ball bands I used for the shawl and the baby blanket to show the fiber contents. Thank you so much for sending those projects in and for all the information, Simone. The next submission comes from Igor Nitz. She says, hello, this is Igor Nitz. You said you wanted to see the blanket I made. It was one of my first knitted blankets. It was years ago, but I found photos from when I first finished it. I ended up holding two strands of the mandala in the color gnome together. 
This is absolutely beautiful. I love these colors together. And I know I've said it before, but these are such happy colors. Thank you so much for sending that in. I can't wait to use my mandala yarn. The next submission comes from Morvi. She says, I have attached some pics of the sweater vest that I crocheted for my dad using your cable tutorial. Thank you for making that video. You really explained it well. This is the first sweater that I've made. I usually just make scarves and beanies. So in these pics, I'm wearing the vest. Have a great day. Morvi, also known as Lovin' It, from YouTube. I'm so glad that tutorial helped you and this looks fantastic. Thank you so much for sending those pictures in. The next submissions are from Rhonda Priest. Take a look at these. She said, I love to crochet in the fall, my absolute favorite season. It's mine too, I totally get it. I picked out some of my fall favorites to share on your show and tell episode, which I love by the way. I'm so glad you love it, I love it too. First is a beaded virus shawl made in Red Heart Unforgettable yarn, one of my favorite yarns for shawls. I take horrible selfies, so it is on my dress form. I like to make them at least 70 inches long so they stay in place and wrap easily. I use a six millimeter hook with this yarn. That is just gorgeous. Those colors are beautiful and the shapes, really lovely. Then she says, this is a fun little make. Three sunflower scrubbers and three dishcloths in a little crocheted basket. The scrubbers are my own pattern. Two are all cotton stuffed with a little nylon netting. One is acrylic because they make great non-scratch scrubbers. Oh, I didn't know that. That's great to know. The cotton dishcloths are granny squares and the basket is acrylic yarn held double. All are worsted weight. Sometimes it is about the presentation. So true. I was going to say the merchandising on this is great. This is one of my go-to gifts for housewarming, dinners, teachers, etc. What a great idea. Then she says, large leaf placemats made with the stunning Heartland yarn by Lion Brand. These are huge and lovely. I make a few more each fall and have them on every flat surface. I change the size by just changing the hook size from four millimeter to six and a half millimeter. They are my own pattern too, but there are similar ones available. Last is my scrap blanket textured fall throw made with one skein of each color, except the gold and purple gray. I only had a half skein of those. I believe it was all Caron one pound. I love scrap projects. This pattern is available on the Crochet Crowd website and there is a tutorial for it on their YouTube channel. Hope you are all doing well. I keep meaning to ask if you had made anything from the Tangiers yarn yet. Sadly, no, <laughs> I have not had a chance to get to it. I really want to because you know I love those colors. I have about six more skeins of it looking for a project. Take care and have a wonderful week. You too, Rhonda. Thank you so much for sending all those projects in. And for any of your patterns, if you have them somewhere for sale where people can access them, if you send me a link, I'll be happy to add it to the description of the video. The next submissions come from Dawn Nutter. Take a look. She said, hello, I am enjoying the Fireside Cal and have been using up fall color scrap balls. That's great. That's the idea behind this. I included a picture of my blanket so far. It's looking fantastic. In your recent yarn haul and unboxing, you mentioned you never tried mandala yarn and wondered if it would make a nice wearable. It does. I included a photo of a sweater made with mandala in the color Chimera or Chimera. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but it's beautiful. I love those colors and what a great sweater. I asked Dawn if she was using a pattern for the sweater or if it was her own pattern. And she said she didn't have a pattern and she just started it as a top down. I think that looks fantastic. And I love the detail around the yoke of the sweater. Great job, Dawn. Thank you for sending those in. The next submission comes from Sharon Densmore. And unfortunately, part of the email got cut off, but I'll read you what I have. In any case, this blanket is beautiful. Take a look. She said, this is a pattern from the crochet crowd called Mountain Mist. I used Red Heart Super Saver yarn for it. Didn't think I would get it finished in, and that's all I have. But I have to say, this is a beautiful blanket. I love the way they use the colors. It almost looks like the main color stripes are shadowed by the darker colors next to it. I really love that. 
Thank you for sending that in, Sharon. And I'm sorry, I do not know what happened to this email. <laughs> the next submissions come from Misty Dawn. I can see everybody's getting ready for fall. It's wonderful. Take a look. She said, hello, crochet yarny friends. I've got several in process that I'll show you, but here are a few finished items. One, this is a basic ribbed hat I've always made for men that you can wear slouchy or with a brim. Guys love it. In fact, that's who asked for it. My guy friend's favorite color is a deep purple. This is Hobby Lobby's Soft and Sleek in French Lilac. Two, then I made a divine hat for his wife in bright red Hobby Lobby's Soft and Sleek and the black is Premier's Chenille. Fiber Spider does a great tutorial. Just note, he stops before I did on mine and he was using a thinner yarn. So it's all interesting how makes turn out. This pattern is great for anyone, easy to change up and so, so fast to make. And she included the pattern and the tutorial, which I will put in the description below this video. Three, this toddler blanket is from Discontinued Yarn and made using the Dragonfly stitch. I loved how it turned out. It's just free stitched. It's absolutely beautiful. Four, I'm still doing more pumpkins for orders, but I thought I'd show you all the leaves I purchased from Etsy that have cute sayings on them and also my company name. If you are interested in her shop, she linked a link to the shop, which I will also put in the, in the description below. And what awesome merchandising of those pumpkins, Misty. Five and six, my girlfriend asked for a hat to match her pumpkins, so I obliged. Minnie Mouse is one of my models these days. <laughs> Great model. This is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in orange burst. In fact, Franny, it's the yarn you asked about on the fireside afghan I'm making. Ah, that's great. I really have to get to Hobby Lobby and try some of their yarns. Seven, a whip for a Christmas present using all his favorite colors that I would never put together. I added the cream to balance it all out. This is a square granny type, but I've added ladder rounds. And Misty actually added a story about this granny square blanket that she noticed on the ladder round, it didn't match up and she realized she didn't slip a stitch in the previous round. She was near the end and frogging would mean going a long way back. So instead of frogging, she said she decided to embrace the mistake and cover it up and she covered it up and you really can't tell. And she said she knows the recipient won't be able to tell unless of course they watch this video. <laughs> And she said, I got to save time where I can. If I'm seeking it, oh sure, I'll be perfect or as close to it as I can get. Well, I got to say, Misty, these look perfect anyway. So I certainly wouldn't worry about that. Okay, then eight, a whip for breast cancer awareness month, a bag a day shawl using rainbow baby from Michaels. It's so soft and coming together nicely. I'm making this for me. Yes, there's my new design for a B. I'm finishing her wings and a few other touches and then I'll release that pattern. And then she also included the bag a day tutorial. So all of those links that Misty included in her email will be below in the video. Thank you so much for sending all of that in Misty. Your projects look awesome. And our final submission comes from Connie Zachary. She said, hi Franny, I just finished making these fun scarves. They were super easy and fast to crochet. I'm thinking of making a few more to give them as Christmas gifts. These look great. They look so festive with the colors and with the stitch. Really beautiful. Thank you for sending that in, Connie. Okay, so there you have it. Those were the projects for this week. Thank you everybody for sending those in. Again, so inspiring and motivating, especially with the holidays coming up. I'm getting ready to do some crochet projects. So I'm really getting some great ideas from all of you. If you'd like to participate in the show and tell series, send your pictures and descriptions to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. The show and tell will air every Sunday evening. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.